Section 2.3, equations of a line. So, and again, I introduced standard form, AX plus B, Y equal to C. And then we have our slope intercept form, which is Y equals MX plus B. The M represents the slope. The B is your Y intercept, so it's the ordered pair, zero comma B, B being any value. Slope formula, when in standard form. If you're given the equation in standard form, the easiest way to do the slope form formula of it is do negative a over b. So whatever the standard value is, take the a value, which is a coefficient, make it negative, divided by the b value, and then be careful of your signs. If it's a minus, you need to include it. So example one says we are given 3x plus 4y equal to 4, write it in slope intercept form, then, I, then identify the slope and y intercept. Since they want us to rewrite it in slope intercept form, you're taking your original equation. And we're solving for y. So subtract your 3x over. Get 4y equaling negative 3x plus 4. Then divide everything by 4. So you get y equals negative 3 over 4x plus 1. So here we are in slope intercept. Then it said identify your slope and then your y-intercept. So our slope is negative 3 over 4, because that's the m value attached to x. And then your y-intercept is the ordered pair with the 1. So it's going to be 0, 1. That is where you will start your graph. Example 2 says, Take graph the equation y equal to negative 3 fourths x plus 1 using the slope and the y intercept. So this was the equation we just found in example 1. And we identified that the slope was negative 3 over 4. And then your b value starts at 0, 1. So remember on slope, because we're using slope, and it's negative. So we are falling, then running. So we're plotting our point at 0, 1. We are going negatively three units. So one, two, three. We went down three steps. And we're going over one, two, three, four. And then you're going over four. There's my negative three over four. And then you draw your line in. Make sure you draw arrows on both ends to represent a line. Example three says determine if the lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So again, remember, parallel, perpendicular, neither, you're looking at slope values. So line one on A has a negative two for slope. Line two has a negative two for slope. Same slope. We are parallel lines. On B, it says 2y equaling negative 3x plus 2. First, rewrite it by dividing by 2. So you're getting y equals negative 3 over 2x plus 1. So the slope of the first one says negative 3 over 2. The second one is in standard form. Since it's in standard form, I'm going to use the find slope by writing negative a over b. The negative 4 is the a, the 6 is the b. So we get negative of negative 4, because it's negative to begin with, over the b, which is a 6. We get positive 4 over 6, which reduces to 2 over 3. So slope 2 is 2 thirds. And when we look at them, negative 3 halves and 2 thirds, they are opposite reciprocals, which means we have perpendicular. Then we look at line, part C, it says line 1 is x plus y equal to 6, line 2 is y equal to 6. So on this one, it's in standard form, so my a, remember it's negative a over b, 
we're writing negative 1 over 1, so we have a slope of negative 1. So slope 1 is negative 1. When we look at line 2, it says y equal to 6. Since it's a horizontal line, it means it has a 0 slope. So it means the slope of line 2 is 0. Since the slopes are not the same and they are negative, not negative reciprocals, these are neither. They do intersect, but not 90 degrees. Example 4 says use slope-intercept form to find an equation of the line with the slope of negative 3 and passing through the point 1, negative 4. So they gave us a slope of negative 3 and they wanted to go through this point. So um, since point slope has not been introduced yet, we're going to use y equals mx plus b. We already know that our m is negative 3. We need to find out what b is. So they gave you a point which is 1, negative 4. And we're going to label that x, y. And we're going to substitute into our equation. So we're going to write negative 4 equals our slope, which is negative 3 in parentheses, times our 1 for the x in parentheses, plus b. We get negative 4 equals negative 3 plus b. Add the 3 back. negative 1 equals b. So I know what my b value is. We know what our m value is. So y equals mx plus b substitute for m and b now. So y equals negative 3x minus 1. Point slope formula is in the form of y minus y1 equals m parentheses x minus x1. m is your slope and x1, y1 is a point on the line. So notice that there are, you see two y's, two x's. The only ones being affected are the y1, x1, and the m. Those are the only ones you're going to use. So when we look at example 5, it says use the point slope formula to find the equation of the line having a slope of negative 5 and passing through the point 2, negative 7. Write the answer in slope-intercept form. So first thing, our slope we know is negative 5. The point is 2, negative 7. That represents x1, y1. So in order, and it said to use point slope. So I'm writing down y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. We are going to use substitution in for m, x1, and y1. So y minus minus 7 equals negative 5 parentheses x minus a2. And the reason I stuck the 2 in parentheses is in case it happened to be negative. So we see y plus 7 equals negative 5 times x minus 2 in case that you had a sign change. You are going to distribute you get y plus 7 equals negative 5x plus 10. And then remember, it said it wanted the answer in slope-intercept form. So subtract 7 over, and we end up with y equals negative 5x plus 3. Here is your slope-intercept form. Example 6 says, find an equation of the line passing the point 5, negative 1, and 3, 1, write the answer in slope-intercept form. So first thing we notice is they did not give you a slope. So you need to first find slope, then use point slope to go to y-intercept. So we're going to find our slope first, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And what I'm going to do with my points, 5, negative 1, and 3, 1, here's my x1, y1, x2, y2. So we get 1 minus a minus 1 over 3 minus a 
5. So 1 plus 1 over 3 minus 5. 2 over negative 2, which is a negative 1 for our m. And then remember, it's a point slope formula says it's y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Since here's my x1, y1, and that's the one that I'm going to use. So I want to write y minus minus 1 equals our slope that we found, negative 1 times x minus a5. Minus minus causes it to be positive. In case there was a sign change, we just did this. Now we can distribute. So you get y plus 1 equals negative x plus 5, and then finalize by subtracting 1 over. So y equals negative x plus 4. Example 7, changed it up. So in this one it says, find an equation of the line passing through the point 4, 3, and perpendicular to the line 2x plus 3y equal to 3. Write the answer in slope intercept form. So they gave us a point they wanted to be perpendicular to this slope, this equation. So first thing, we need to find the slope of the original. So we are in standard form 2x plus 3y equal to 3. Since we are in standard form, I'm going to use negative a over b to find the slope. So it's negative of 2 over 3, so negative 2 thirds. So my line 1 is negative 2 thirds, but line 2 says it is perpendicular. So opposite is 3 over 2, negative becomes positive, I am 3 over 2. So the m that I'm going to use is 3 halves. They gave you the point 4, 3. So that is my x1, y1, and then you're going to go use point slope. So I'm writing down my point slope formula. And now we're going to substitute in. So I'm going to write y minus a 3 equals 3 halves times x minus 4. y minus 3 equals 3 halves x minus 3 times 4 is 12 over 2. So remember, numerator times whole over the denominator. So we see y minus 3 equals 3 halves x minus 6. And then you finalize by adding 3 over. So y equals 3 halves x minus 3. That would be the equation that if I were to graph the original graph and the new graph, they would intersect perpendicular to each other at 